Hi guys, this how to every step guide shows you how I replaced a faulty car coolant thermostat in 10 easy to follow steps. The problem we have here is a faulty thermostat that is causing the engine not to warm up properly. In this case the indication of the thermostat fault is that the coolant temperature gauge does not rise to its normal operating temperature when the engine has been running for long enough to fully heat up. This can be caused by the faulty thermostat opening too soon at lower than normal operating temperature or by the faulty thermostat being stuck open all the time. This causes the coolant to always flow through the radiator which means the coolant constantly gets cooled at maximum capacity meaning the engine does not heat up to normal operating temperature. Long term this is bad because it can cause premature engine wear because the majority of the engine wear takes place while your engine is still warming up. Alternatively a faulty thermostat can be stuck closed meaning the coolant cannot circulate through the radiator meaning the engine keeps heating up after it reaches normal operating temperature causing it to overheat and you would see the coolant temperature gauge go into the red zone. Either way the faulty thermostat needs to be replaced. So step one locate the thermostat. The thermostat housing is normally bolted to the side of the engine block and will have a coolant pipe connected to the housing. So by following the coolant pipes back to the engine block you should be able to find the thermostat housing. Step 2 make the thermostat accessible. Remove any air intake pipes etc that get in the way of removing the thermostat housing bolts. Here's a tip for you. By using a wrench with a knuckle attachment will mean you can unscrew the thermostat housing bolts from more angles which will mean you will need to remove less parts to enable access. Step 3. Drain the coolant. Important note. Ensure the engine and coolant have cooled down fully hot coolant can cause severe burns. Locate the coolant drain valve if your car has one. Alternatively, take off the radiator bottom coolant pipe. To do this, undo the Jubilee clip and twist the pipe back and forth to break the seal and then slide off the coolant pipe. Drain the coolant into a suitable drip tray. It is worth checking the size of the drip tray suits the car's coolant capacity to avoid overspills. Important note, do not pour coolant straight down the drain. It is highly toxic. Also, any spill should be thoroughly hosed down straight away, otherwise it could cause severe injury to pets and people if ingested. Then, close the drain valve or refit the radiator bottom coolant pipe. Step 4. Unscrew the thermostat housing. Use a wrench with a knuckle attachment in order to allow more freedom to reach the bolt heads. Unscrew both the bolts and keep in a safe place. Pull the thermostat housing away from the engine block and secure out of the way. Step 5. Remove the faulty thermostat. Remove the o-ring. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver to help to pluck it away. 
Remove the faulty thermostat from the engine block. Pliers may be useful if it is difficult to retrieve. Step 6. Thermostat selection. Often more than one thermostat design is shown to match a vehicle on car parts websites. I would recommend purchasing all the different options and afterwards getting a refund on the ones you don't need. Compare the faulty thermostat to the new ones. Here there were two different types for this Audi A6. One has an O-ring seal and the other one has a flat round gasket with a bleed hole in the thermostat body. In this case the thermostat with the O-ring seal is the correct match for the vehicle. You will notice the faulty thermostat has VW Audi logo stamped on it which means it is probably the original thermostat meaning for this car it would be 15 years old so not surprising it needs replacing. Step 7. Install the new thermostat. Clean around the o-ring sealing face on the engine block to ensure no debris can cause the o-ring to not seal properly. Insert the new thermostat into the engine block. It should sit in place if you position it carefully. Wipe some coolant around the o-ring and then insert it into the thermostat engine block recess. The o-ring should sit snugly in place and push the thermostat flush with its engine block mounting face. Align the thermostat housing up to the engine block and align the mounting holes. Then using the wrench screw on the two bolts and then torque to the correct torque setting using a torque wrench. See car repair manual for bolt torque settings. Then refit any air intake pipe work etc that was removed earlier for accessibility. Step 8. Refill the coolant. Mix the correct ratio of demineralized water to coolant to suit your engine requirements and minimum winter air temperatures for your country. A 2 litre water bottle is perfect for mixing the coolant as well as pouring straight into the expansion tank. Then you can simply keep filling until you reach the maximum level on the expansion tank. Alternatively, you can work out the volumes of coolant to demineralize water to suit the required ratio and coolant capacity of your engine. Either way, fill to the maximum coolant level in the expansion tank and refit the filler cap. G12 coolant is specified on these VW Audi diesel engines for longer coolant life. Check for any coolant leaks, particularly around the parts of the cooling system that have been refitted, i.e. the thermostat housing and the radiator bottom coolant pipe. Step 9. Run the engine. Check no tools etc are left in the engine bay. Start the engine and leave running for one minute, then turn off. This will give enough time for the majority of the trapped air to rise to the expansion tank. Squeeze the coolant hoses a few times to further help any trapped air rise to the expansion tank. The coolant level will probably have dropped slightly as the trapped air has risen to the expansion tank. Remove the filler cap and top up the coolant to the expansion tank maximum level and then refit the filler cap. Now run the engine until it is fully warmed up and the temperature gauge sits at one temperature. That's 90 degrees for these VW Audi engines. Leave the engine running until the electric fan starts which shows the thermostat has opened and that the cooling system has completed a cycle. Also ensure the air conditioning is turned off as the electric fan normally runs automatically as soon as the air conditioning is turned on. Turn the air blowers to hot. Hot air being blown through shows the coolant is flowing properly and that there are no air locks. All the trapped air should now have been bled out of the cooling system and risen to the expansion tank. Step 10. Blast coolant top up. Allow the engine to cool, ideally overnight. Undo the filler cap. If the coolant level has dropped, top up the coolant to the expansion tank maximum level and then refit the filler cap. Now the thermostat has been replaced, the engine warms up properly and the temperature gauge sits at normal operating temperature. There we go guys, job done. So here is the every step summary and here is a list of tools and materials required.
We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe and leave comments below. Click above for more how-to every step videos.